Alright guys, Billimer, back with more Avengers. Uh, we're turning on here. Playing as Bruce Banner, which is something. Uh, again, his animations are really fucking stiff, which I just find really fucking wow. funny. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I'm enjoying this game right now. And I really, like, I find it strange that I am, because I really was not expecting it coming into this, but I'm enjoying this. Um, like, obviously, it's still not going to end up being above, like, Miles Morales or anything. Like, it's still going to end up probably... Like, it's still, like, pretty solidified, I feel like, in its placement. Because I feel like there's no way... Like, I feel like it would have been very difficult for it to be ever above Miles Morales. But also, I don't think there's a point where it gets um, below the other thing. What is the other thing? Uh, below uh, Dark Pictures Anthology, Little Hope. So it's like, it was always going to be in the middle, like in that sp sort of spot on the list as of right now. Though obviously there's potential for it to uh, go up and down later on, but... Okay. Oh, so like, his aiming is literally just picking something off the ground and throw it. Okay, that's funny. Um, Seems like YouTube's like not doing well right now. <laughs> uh, at least YouTube Studio, for some reason, not fucking loading right now. So, uh, so I said tomorrow. Um, well, I guess that was last episode now, but whatever. So yeah, uh, plan for tomorrow. Edit together the Australian Survivor or the, uh, Survivor Australian Outback player ranking. And then also get around to possibly starting the International Survivor Run Up ranking. Uh, which, uh, the goal for that would be to finish it by the end of the weekend. Not gonna really like, I'm not expecting to, but it would be cool if I can. Um, Open. <laughs> Wait, why did I open my thumbnail folder? I'm, it must have been an accident, right? Whatever. Uh, was I looking for something? I don't remember anymore. Not that it really fucking matters at the end of the day. Whatever, I don't even remember. But, um, yeah, so... That's another video edited, which means I am currently down to how many videos left to edit. I have 11 more videos to edit for this batch of videos. Uh, also, does that, am I at 30 ahead or 29? I'm at tw 29. Okay, so if I can finish the Australian Outback video tomorrow, then I'll be back to 30. I think it's just going to drop back down to 29, but uh, again, I should be at above 30 by the end of this week, uh, by next Wednesday. Which is cool. Um, um, where am I going then? Here? Okay, that looks ridiculous. Um, I forgot about that. Like can tell by your silence that you are not amused. That's okay. I don't think Bruce likes my jokes either. Okay. I won't mention the, uh, the guy with the glasses. This is just 
bizarre section now, isn't it? Yeah, so I can get the International Survivor on ranking done by the end of this week, which would be ideal, it won't happen, but whatever. I can get the Season ranking, if I can get that done in one day, that would be cool. Charted, Nathan, Jordan, one. So, if, so yeah, by the end of next week, I can be down to only four videos left. So, I mean, like, I can be done with this batch of videos in, like, two weeks. Um... It's like, I probably can't though, because that's not including The Last of Us. At least The Last of Us is like part of that last estimate, and it's like that's gonna take forever to edit. So, I don't know. But, like, let's see, two weeks down the road? What is that? That's like the first week of February. That's solid. Um, oh, I'm an idiot. I wasn't paying attention. That's like a week ahead of what I was expecting, right? But then again, I don't think that's gonna happen. But either way, it should be fine either way. Um, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. But yeah, still have 11 videos to edit. Um, again, most of these should be one day edits. Um, I don't know how long the season ranking is. Let's actually look this up. Why the fuck is this still open? Um, I just want to look this up right now. I want to look up how long the season ranking audio is. Because I don't remember anymore. It might be longer than I'm thinking it is. Because now I think about it, I think it was longer than the winter ranking. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't even have to open it, do I? I can just scroll over. An hour and ten. Okay, never mind. It's shorter. Okay. That's good then. Uncharted 4 retrospective. It's gonna be tough, but I can probably do that one day. Um, what if, what if Final Five boot? That's a long one, right? I, I believe that's like an hour and thirty for some reason. But again, I should be able to do it in one day um, because it's it's a video that has almost no real editing to it. Um, uh, like it's just mostly just editing the audio. Like the actual video is easy. Uh, sorry, UK pull out Tiga retrospective. That should be easy, I think. I don't remember how long the audio was. How long is the audio? An hour and twelve. Okay, that's longer than I thought, but it should still be a one day edit. Casting celebrity survivors easy one day. Ghost Island easy one day. Top ten pretty merch probably an easy one day. Um, what if minority? Yeah, so I'm really all these videos are easy one day edits, or, or a lot of these videos are easy one day edits. International Survivor runner up is gonna be longer, but it's like I can spread that over the weekend, so hopefully I can get it done through that. Uh, the predicting Jeff Probst season ranking, file five boot video, and season retro, UK season retrospective, those can be longer, but. Uh, if I try hard enough, I can do this in one day. And then the last is part two retrospective is never happening within the course of one day. <laughs> uh, like, I would be, to be honest, I, I think it might even take more than two days. Like, it's a fucking massive video. I, I really can't believe how long that ended up being. Um, yeah, let's look that up right now, too. Might as well, since we're right here. Uh, the Last of Us, The Last of Us, The Last of Us, Last of Us game retrospective here. What is it? An hour, come on, load. Hour 38 minutes, 50 seconds. Ah. Might be a bad idea. It's like fucking run. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I think what we should do, though, at this point, is kind of just talk through the schedule for general. That's, I haven't done that in actually a while, actually, surprisingly. It's like, I've talked about general, but I haven't, like, specifically talked through the schedule, as in, like, literally having it in front of me and talking through, um, things. Like, I've talked generally about, like, obviously, like, what games we're going to be playing and that sort of thing, and, but, um...
Because I still don't fully get the combat system yet. Like, there's still things I just don't even remember, like, what they do. But whatever. Like, what is that green meter at the top? Like, what is that supposed to be? So, um, yeah, let's just talk through the schedule so far. Um, so, this Saturday will be the What If, uh, Big Brother What If Final Teaser for Final Threes. Not sure how that video will go. Um, I'm really, really unsure actually about how that video will go. If it gets like 5,000 views, I will be happy. But, I'm not even like secure in that. Um, like, it's a video that was requested to me. Um, which usually that's obviously a good sign, but it's like at the same time, it's like I just don't know how uh, widespread that video will end up being, especially now that we're like kind of removed from Big Brother. Um, I just don't know how that video is going to end up doing, but we'll see. Um, to be honest, I think in retrospect, I should have tried to get that out last year. I think in an ideal world, that's probably what I would have done. Is maybe, like, just say fuck it and, like, release it in place of where my, um, Survivor What If video, my What If Fire Making Challenge video is. Like, so while that video would have ended up coming out, like, a full, like, um, like, what is that, like, I don't know, whatever, like, it would be way longer in limbo after already being in limbo for quite a bit. Um, I, I do feel like in retrospect maybe that would have been the better option, but obviously like the time's passed like I, I have to deal with this now and it's like whatever we'll, we'll just do whatever. Fuck off. That one. So um... Yeah, I mean, at this point, I I mean, like, this month's already been pretty good to the point where it's like, I'm willing to take the risk anyway. Um, you know, let's see if YouTube loads. Uh, I, because, like, I don't remember exactly anymore, but I feel like, isn't it? Oh, okay, now it loaded. I'm not even looking at the screen, by the way. Um, but I'm pretty sure this month... Yeah, I've already got 106,000 views this month. Which, I think, yeah, last month I only got 92,000. Month before that, 102. So it's like, I'm already done better in the first uh, third of, or two thirds of this month. I've already done better than what I've done um, in the months of November and uh, December. Now, I do remember that October was my best month ever view-wise, I believe. So let's see how many views that was. 134,000, so I'm, what, 28,000 away uh, in 10 days. So 2,800. I, I'm going to pass that easily. Yeah, I'm easily going to pass that. So it's like, whatever. Like, I, I kind of have room to wiggle around with anyway. Like, I'm like this month's going to be my best month view-wise, no matter what, at this point, I feel like. So, whatever. We'll, we'll take the risk and release this video now. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, again, and if it does very well, then cool. It does very well. But, uh, again, not expecting it to. Uh, after that, we got Australian Outback Season Retrospective. Comes on the 20th anniversary. Or the day before the 20th anniversary, so. Whatever. I mean, uh. Of higher gear available. Like I could not be fucking bothered to be honest. Um, to whatever. what is that? Whatever. That's the same. Um, 
Yeah, so 20 year Australian Outback retrospective. Um, I expect that video to probably, I don't know, like I think 5,000 views for that video, I would be very happy with. Do I think it'll reach it? Probably not. To be honest, it's, it's another, that's another video I don't have that much confidence in. Um, but it's a video I felt like I needed to make, so whatever. Uh, after that, we got Dreamcasting Heroes vs. Villains, which, I mean, if you asked me like three months ago, I would have said I would have had a lot of confidence in this video, but now I have no confidence in this video. But again, like, they're all like mid tier videos. Like, that's the last three videos of the month. Like, they're all mid tier videos to where, like, um,. I'm, I'm like content with releasing them now. Like I don't feel like uh, I will hold. We just fucking switch out, but whatever. Like to boost it. Oh. Okay. How does skills work in this game? Does each character have their own skill tree? Isn't that really fucking annoying then? I, I couldn't be fucking bothered. Um. Yeah, so that's that. Um, after that is the challenge video. So we have the challenge, um... <laughs> so with the challenge video, which I don't know how well that video will do, I'm... I think with that video, if it gets like 500 views, I'll be happy. Again, like, to be honest, in many ways, it's a test to see how challenge content will do, but also it's like, I don't know, like, I'm not expecting it to do well. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how well it does, though. But that comes out February 3rd, February 6th, we have the Big Brother Runner Up ranking, which, again, I think. Like, obviously, the big issue of that is the timing. The fact that it's coming out now uh, is very questionable, obviously. Like, probably not the best strategic decision to be releasing it now. But at the same time, it's like, that's how my scheduling has been. And I feel like I uh, want to keep a tradition. And then also, I already have, like, a lot of other Big Brother ranking videos planned for Big Brother season. So, um, it's like I might as well just like, whatever, just keep the schedule and then just do those bigger projects later. Um, so what am I doing then? Um, yeah, then after that we have the Gokaiju retrospective, which, uh, obviously I don't plan on doing well. I feel like it could be one of those videos though that like does better than I'm expecting. Uh, so really like something like my Scott Pilgrim video, which like I was expecting to completely bomb, but I end up getting like four to five hundred views. I can see this doing the same. Um, actually, what is my? Uh, I haven't been paying attention to this. What is my Super Sentai video at right now? Two hundred seventeen views. Okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of what I would expect it to get. Um, like, that's kind of why I'm expecting this Gokaiju video to get, but it's like, if it does better, then cool. Um, we'll see. I feel like it's definitely the most obscure fucking video I've, I'm doing on the channel. Uh, because I feel like even with Sasuke, at least that correlates to, like, American Ninja Warrior, which is, another, which is a thing I've covered heavily on the channel, so it's like... Um, <sighs> I'm, I, I said this already, like, combat for me in this game is fucking boring. Everything else is really strong, though. Um, but, like, we're in a really long combat section here, so I'm just kind of bored of the game itself.
Oh, fuck. What? What kind of bullshit is that? What is going on? What just happened? Whatever. Um, yeah, go Kaiju. And to be honest, I think in retrospect, actually, uh, the month of February probably wasn't scheduled as well as I thought it was. Um, I mean, to be fair, a lot of that's because of, like, some changes that I made since I originally scheduled it. Like, I think when I scheduled it, I would have been very confident in a lot of decisions I made. But I think now, in retrospect, um, there, there's a lot of risk with some of these videos. Because, again, you got the, the Big Brother Run Up Ranking, which yeah, I think inherently will do decently well. But it's, like, maybe not as well as I'm thinking it will. Uh, we got the Survivor Winner Ranking, International Survivor Winner Ranking. Or not international, a global survivor winner ranking, which, um, that's such a risk. Like, I really don't know how well they'll do. Um, because it's like, I feel like, obviously, like, just a winner ranking will do very well, but this is like, um, by putting international in it, I do feel like that lowers its potential. Um, in a while, like, I've done my Big Brother global winner ranking. And that still ended up getting around 10,000 views or whatever, uh, which is pretty solid. Like, I, I do feel I do worry about this video in terms of like n it not hitting as well as I would like it to. I think in two guys, I, I I don't have like massive expectations for it. Like, I, I think 10,000. I mean, like I do though, <laughs> but like 10,000 uh, is, is what I would want it to do. If it reaches 10,000, I'm happy. Um, if it doesn't, then I do feel like it's kind of a letdown, but we'll, we'll see. Um, Let me help you, Bruce. <sighs> yeah, then after that we have the Catherine retrospective, which obviously won't do well, but it's just something I wanted to do. Well, the, by Dreamcasting, Old School versus New School, and again, like, if this had been the past, this is a very solid pick. Um, however, now, where, like, my Dreamcasting videos just don't, don't perform that well. Because I remember, like, uh, I think I scheduled this, like, uh, around the time that I, like, after my Legends came out. And that one did, like, 12,000 views, which was kind of a letdown at the time, but, like, I think in retrospect, like, performed well and it is the best performing dreamcasting video i've done out i mean outside of dreamcasting big brother all stars but like the dreamcasting series was still like a well performing series now it's not so uh not super confident in the old school versus new school one anymore after that we got bb can 9 cast assessment which i haven't done yet obviously because it's not time yet um i do question though when are we going to be like this is under the assumption that bbk9 starts at the very beginning of march and we get the cast this early um obviously if we don't get the cast this early then i'll have to move things around more than likely i will probably end up moving actually let's look at this i guess i move up the australian survivor runner-up ranking because I don't want to move up Met the Life of Strange retrospective. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what I have to do. Because the Wednesday videos from March are the two runner-up rankings, the Circle, Celebrity Circle Review, which who knows when that will be, and then the Life of Strange retrospective. Uh, which Life of Strange retrospective is the only video game video from March, so I want to keep that there. Yeah, so I mean, I guess that's what I'll have to do, is move the Australian Survivor. Doesn't then too much, none of this really matters that much. Like, this is just very obscure things, but, um. Yeah, um, yeah, after that we have Survivor What If Every Final Four Had Forced Fire Making, which, I mean, that one I'm a bit more confident. I, I feel pretty solidified with that video. Um, I do feel like, as of right now, I, I do feel like, for me, the What If series seems to be um, the most consistent um, video series for me. Um, it used to be the casting series, or casting videos, but the casting videos just have not been performing nearly as well anymore. While the What If videos have been still performing solidly, where even a really mediocre one in the fire making video 
uh, ended up getting 8,000 views or whatever, which, I mean, to be fair, it would have been a disappointment in the past, but that was when the channel as a whole was on a slow period, so. Um, and that video's been, like, steadily growing, so it's like, I, I, I feel pretty um, confident about the What If videos. Wait, we're fighting him? Or is this just his voice? And like, we're not fighting. So yeah, so that's that. Uh, then we get into March, which, um, and March is a, I, I feel pretty confident about March when looking at it. Um, it's like, I mean, to be honest, it's very similar to February, except, um, replace the Big Brother Rob video with a, um, with the Survivor video that I feel relatively confident in, in the recasting Winners at War video. And then, also, um, uh, just have overall better Wednesday videos. So, like, I, I feel confident about March. Um, okay, we're not doing well here, though. What the fuck is going on? Um, so here we go. First video of March is the Life of Strange retrospective, followed by recasting Survivor Winners at War, which again I feel pretty confident in. Life of Strange retrospective obviously don't feel confident in, but I don't give a shit about it in terms of how well it does. I just wanted to do it. We got the Australian Survivor Runner Up ranking, which I mean, like, I feel confident enough in. Like, I mean, like, I expect it to do pretty much double of what the Big Bird Canada video is doing. Because that's typically how this, uh, the Australian Survivor videos perform. Australian Survivor is essentially my best performing, um, like, international series. Um, I'm gonna try to get it open, okay? I mean, that's pretty fair, actually. Maybe double's a bit too high. Maybe, um, because I do feel like my winner ranking is in season ranking for Australian Survivor still aren't super high. Um, like I think they're probably only like 3,000 something views. I think. I mean, I can look it up. It's right fucking here. Right, the switches. Get on it, come on. Um, where is it? Not top, not top 10. There we go. Winner ranking. It is at... Okay, it's actually better than I thought. 4,500. What about the season ranking? I feel like that one hasn't done as well. There it is. Season ranking. 3,100. Okay. I mean, yeah. Uh, that's kind of what... That's the range that I'm expecting for that video, so... Well, I fucked that up. Wait, where am I going? No. Um. But then we got uh, the survivor season ranking, the global season ranking, which again, we'll see how the winner ranking does, and then I think we'll assess how well the season ranking does. Um. Uh, but then after I have the Celebrity Circle video, which again, that's not secure, obviously, because we don't know when that will be, but as of right now, that's where I have it scheduled. Uh, then we have the Dreamcasting Survivor Early Boots video, which again, uh, could have been a better video scheduled there, but whatever. It's like at this point, it's like whatever, like... I'm kind of done with the Dreamcasting series at this point. I'm like, I don't plan on making 
anymore. Did I? Actually, I forgot about this. Did I do one in this match? Yeah, I didn't do one in this entire massive batch of videos. Oh, no, I did do Dreamcasting, uh, Big Brother. But, yeah, I mean, like, I'm kind of done with the Dreamcasting series. I really just can't be bothered. To be honest, I don't even have fun doing the casting series anymore. So, and, like, considering the fact that they're not even doing that well view-wise anymore, it's like I, I just couldn't give a shit enough to do them. Um... So, uh, yeah, there's that, and Cherish of Africa, season ranking, which will probably end up doing around half of what the Australian Survivor video does. Well, I mean, like, like, it'll probably end up doing worse than what this Paper Canada one is doing, because that's typically how Survivor of Africa videos do. What am I doing? I should probably end. Yeah, let's end here. Uh, next episode, we'll go ahead and continue on. Actually, we might as well finish talking about March. We're two videos away. Then we got What If Founders One Final Immunity. Again, relatively confident on that video. And then uh, finally, we have uh, the uh, Wrath of the Druids. Dru Druids. <laughs> Wrath of the Druids review for AC Valhalla, the DLC. Which, I mean, we don't know when that's coming out. We know it's sometime in March. Again, technically, that video placement could be anywhere. Uh, that could even be bumped into April, for all I know. Like, uh, that is very much not secure. Um, though, when looking at it now, uh, it being bumped to April is not ideal, considering how many videos in April are necessary to be where they're at. But... Um, yeah, I mean, if it needs to be bumped to April, it needs to be bumped to April. I mean, if it, then it's the way it's going to be. But, um, there is definitely an opera. I mean, like, to be honest, there might be a, like, uh, there's possibly a chance that that gets delayed for a while. Actually, I forgot. What did I say? Okay, I, I know this is going off rails again, but, um, my Far Cry video. Because, like, technically, I can swap it with my Far Cry video. Like, that wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, but, what did I say in my Far Cry video? Like, did I mention that, hey, Far Cry 6 is going out? Um, because if I did, then fuck. <laughs> because I shouldn't have done that. But, um, knowing me, I probably did. I, I put in the fucking descriptions. I mean, that's something. Uh... Let's see. What did I say in the video itself? Yep. Literally the first line. Every game in the Far Cry series, and here we're going to be Whatever. <laughs> I don't fucking care anymore. Like, when is Far Cry... Like, I know there was that, um... I have to be honest, that video might have to get delayed even further, though. Like, what's the next video, then? Like, what's the next Wednesday video that can be bumped up? Yeah, because this could actually be very fucking weird uh, where everything lands. Alright, when's Final Fantasy VII Remake again? When did that come out? That was, like, February 10th or something, right? So, like, worst comes to worst, that can be bumped up a week, right? Yeah, February t or February April tenth. So yeah, that can be bumped up a week. That's fine. Um, let's see. Uncharted. Fuck. Yeah, it's actually not great. Like scheduling is pretty bad. Ugh. Yeah. God damn. There's like really not a single Wednesday. I mean like. I, do I bump up the Yakuza video that much? Oh no, I can do... Okay, never mind. I can do Amazing Race 8 video. That video. Yeah, I mean, that can be bumped up. That's fine. Um, worst comes to worst. And then Far Cry can be bumped down. Yeah, so it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, as long as Far Cry doesn't come out in May. Or June. It probably will. But, uh... Whatever. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I mean, if worse comes to worse, too, I could just re-edit the Far Cry video. 
But again, like, no, I want it out before 6. I need it out before 6. I can't release it after 6. It would just be dumb. But whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we'll talk about April and on, which is obviously what I'm currently working on. Actually, I finished April, technically, but we'll talk about it. But, yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching.